25, right? Oh, yeah. We had done this, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. I'll just share my screen if this doesn't go off. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I'll have to probably turn like this. <laughs> uh, there's a plug there. A plug there as well. You don't have a charger. Okay, <laughs> till whatever time it lasts. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's do a quick recap of uh, what we did last time. Anyone who was here who remembers what we did last time? I think why I was there. Yes. Mm. Correct. Yeah. So last time I think we focused on how uh, it's an indirect way to worship the Lord if you're trying to worship the demigods and uh, you know, you have to water the roots and not eat and every leaf like that. So it's a continuation of uh, that particular theme of if we worship anyone else other than Krishna. So, uh, what is the destination? The destination verse is there right now in the 9.25. So, let's chant. Yanti Deva Vrita Devan Pitrin Yanti Pitra Vrita Bhutan Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madhya Jinom Bipam Yanti Deva Vrita Devan Pitranyanti Pitra Vrita Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madhya Jinopima. Anyone would like to chant? Yanti Deva Vrita Devan Pitranyanti Pitra Vrita Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madhya Jinopi Maam. You want to try? Okay. Okay, you, you chant once and then hear nicely, then you can repeat. <laughs> Yanti Deva Vrita Devan. Vitrin Yanti Pitra Vrita. Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja. Yanti Madhya Jinopi Maam. Yanti Deva Vrita Devan. Pitrin Yanti Pitra Vrita. Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja. Yanti Madhya Jinopi Maam. Very nice. Yanti Deva Vrita Devan Pitrin Yanti Pitra Vrita Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madhya Jinopi Maam is passing there. Okay, so <clears throat> translation, someone can read translation. Those who worship the demigods will take birth among the demigods. Mm. Those who worship the ancestors go to the ancestors. Those who worship birth and spirits will take birth among such beings. And those who worship me will live with me. Yes. So, uh, do you remember, anyone remembers any similar shloka in Bhagavad Gita? Where something similar. Yeah. 
यमी स्मरण त्यजते अंत कले तम तम एव कौंत सदा तदभाव ट्रांसलेशन so at the time of death whatever you remember you certainly attain that state right someone may think okay let me at the last moment of death think something <laughs> and i'll attain that so this verse is kind of clarification on that also so those who worship the demigods will take birth among the demigods so if i'm worshiping if my consciousness is oh i want to you know worship a more particular demigod so i'll take birth amongst the demigods those who worship the ancestors go to the ancestors those who worship ghosts and spirits pura zindagi aise hi bitaye so he'll take birth amongst them and uh, those who worship me will live with me so whatever we uh, worship whomever we worship uh, you know throughout our lives at the time of death we'll remember them and we'll go if we worship a dog in our house <laughs> you know we'll become a dog if we worship money we will become some serpent on you know some treasure <laughs> so yeah. i think in purport uh, you know if one has desire to go to moon the sun or any other planet one can attain the desired destination by following specific vedic principles recommended for that purpose such as uh, such as the process technically known as darsha purnamasa these are vividly described in the fruit of activity portion these are vividly described in the fruit of activity portion of the vedas which recommends a specific worship of demigods situated on different heavenly planets similarly similarly one can attain the pitta planet by performing a specific yagya similarly one can go to many ghostly planets and become a yaksha rakshasa or pishacha pishacha worship is called black arts or black magic there are many men who practice this black art and they think this is spiritualism but such activities are completely materialistic similarly a pure devotee who worships the supreme personality of godhead only achieves the planet of vaikuntha and krishna loka without a doubt it is very easy to understand though uh, through this important verse that if by simply worshiping the demigods one can achieve the heavenly planets or by worshiping pitas achieve the pitta planet or by practicing black arts achieve ghostly planets why can uh, the pure devotee not achieve the planet of krishna or vishnu unfortunately many people have no information of the sublime planet where krishna and vishnu live and because they do not know of them they fall down even the impersonalists fall down from the brahma jyoti the krishna conscious movement is therefore distributing sublime information to the entire human society to to the effect that by simply chanting the hari krishna mantra one can become perfect in this life and go back and back to god pretty straightforward <laughs> any any you want to add something or any thoughts on this anyone it's like uh, also revalidating uh, you know the idea that you are whom you associate with right so if you want to become a drunkard just start associating some drunkard <laughs> and no in no time you will become like them so in worship also we are trying to associate and the next verse also is something very very related so patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhakti uparatam ashnami prayatatmanah very very important shloka should memorize it again patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhakti uparatam ashnami prayatatmanah anyone would like to chant you start and then she can, you hear nicely and then you should chant पत्रं पुष्पं फलं तोयं यो मे भक्त्या प्रयच्छति तदहं भक्ति उपारतम अश्नामि प्रयथात्मनः चै
अलाउड नहीं है राइट राइट ठीक है एक और बार देन यू कैन ट्राई प्रयतात्म सुन लो अच्छे से यार नाइसली यू विल बी एबल टू रिपीट यू यू वांट ट्राई यू कैन ट्राई पत्रम पुष्पम फलं तोयं पत्रम पुष्पम फलं तोयं यो मे भक्त्या प्रयच्छति तत् अहं भक्ति उपारतम् अश्नामि प्रयतात्मनः पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तोयम यो मे भक्त्या प्रयच्छति तद अहम् भक्ति उपारतम् अश्नामि हरि बोल गुड ओके सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट श्लोक सो ट्रांसलेशन समन वांट्स टू रीड द ट्रांसलेशन वन ऑफर मी विद लव एंड डिवोशन अ लीफ अ फ्लावर अ फ्रूट और व्हाट ऑल आई विल एक्सेप्ट इट ओके सो इट्स गोइंग टू गेट प्रसाद अच्छा ठीक है इफ वन ऑफर्स मी विथ लव एंड डिवोशन अ लीफ अ फ्लावर अ फ्रूट और वॉटर पत्रम इज वॉट लीफ पुष्पम फ्लावर राइट फलम फ्रूट तोयम वॉटर सो पत्रम पुष्पम फलम इफ एनी वन ऑफर्स दिस टू कृष्णा विथ लव एंड डिवोशन कृष्णा सेंग आई विल एक्सेप्ट राइट सो very interesting verse so uh, if krishna is saying if you offer this to him he will accept right so uh, i'll i'll kind of draw a comparison between uh, you know right now krishna is not in front of us right uh, so i'll draw a comparison of devotees whom krishna saw or who saw krishna <laughs> rather who saw krishna right so let's take the example of the pandavas Right. So Pandavas they saw Krishna, right? They had uh, it's described in Shri Mad Bhagavatam. They had uh, you know six different kinds of loving exchanges with the Supreme Lord directly. Bhagwan ke saath directly adan pradan kiya. Kya chhe loving exchanges the? Anyone? What are the six loving exchanges? From nectar of instruction. <laughs> ददाति राइट गिविंग इन चैरिटी प्रति गृणाति एक्सेप्टिंग चैरिटी भूयम आख्याति पृच्छति हां टू रिवील योर माइंड इन कॉन्फिडेंस टू समवन एंड आल्सो टू कीप सीक्रेट्स राइट भुंगते भोजायते चैव व्हाट इज दैट भुंगते इज व्हाट हाँ सो ऑफरिंग प्रसादम रिसीविंग प्रसादम भूंगते ईटिंग बुझाएते दूसरे को <laughs> प्रसाद खिलाना सो दीज आर सिक्स लविंग एक्सचेंजेस दे आर डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय शिला रूप गुस्वामी इन नेक्र ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वी कैन हैव दीज काइंड ऑफ लविंग एक्सचेंजेस विद ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डिवोटीज राइट दैट्स रिकमेंडेड सो वॉट इट डज इसे क्या हो गए छे लविंग एक्सचेंजेस से तद्विधि प्रीति लक्षण राइट सो इट हेल्प अस डेवलप रिलेशनशिप विद द डिवोटीज एंड वी क्रिएट अ बॉन्ड राइट वी क्रिएट अ लविंग बॉन्ड अटैचमेंट डेवलप होता है डिवोटीज के साथ में राइट द लविंग रिलेशनशिप डेवलप्स 
we can have the same six loving exchanges with a karmi also. <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> we'll develop bondage <laughs> and you know attachment to karmis and their way of living and everything else. <laughs> yes, uh, that's how, right? If you see a drunkard, he'll never be able to drink alone. Usko koi chahiye saath mein, group chahiye. Sabhi usko maja aata hai. Correct. So they need company. Right? Nobody likes to live alone. So uh, if you do these six loving exchanges with outsiders also, Preeti Lakshanam. Right? You're inviting, oh, let's, let's get, you know, bonded together nicely in friendship or whatever. Like that. So it creates material bondage where, you know, it'll take us down. If you develop the same attachment for devotees, what will happen? We'll and what will happen by that? We'll get devotion to the Lord. We'll get devotion to the Lord. So what do devotees do? How? When you have these Preeti Lakshan with some materialist, what do you think? Kya hoga आप चले गए होटल में खाना खाने के लिए क्या हुआ वहां पर कॉन्वर्सेशन यस डिवोटीज के साथ जाएंगे तो क्या कॉन्वर्सेशन होगा अबाउट द लॉर्ड डिपेंड्स यस यस दैट आल्सो डिपेंड्स इफ देयर आर यू नो सीनियर डिवोटीज देन इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी वरना तो सब गपशप ही होगा सो Yes. Okay. We'll come to the topic of Gamshap also. Right. Uh, so the idea is that uh, just by, so we hear Krishna Katha in association of devotees, right? Uh, we get to hear uh, about the Lord, his pastimes and his name, fame, qualities, etc. So by hearing, we develop attachment for the Lord, right? Our bond to Krishna starts building. So imagine, uh, say for example, Pandavas, they were directly interacting with Krishna face to face. Uh, it is described that how, uh, you know, uh, they would touch the body of the Lord, right? They would take darshan of the Lord. Uh, they would uh, eat with the Lord. Arjuna would sometimes lie down with Krishna, <laughs> right? Uh, they would have nice conversations and loving exchanges like that. And, uh, you know, the Lord would serve them personally. You know, some of them would serve the Lord personally like that. So these kind of loving exchanges were happening directly with the Lord. So here, you know, 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 literally direct Adan Pradhan chal raha hai. So just imagine the kind of bondage, uh, not bondage, actually the bond uh, devotee develops when he is directly interacting with the Lord like that. Right? So uh, here, when we say Patram Pushpam, so how, how can we actually develop that bond with Krishna. We don't have that privilege, right? Directly interact with the Lord. So, agar, so, okay, let's, I was hearing this very nice. So, if you want to measure, you know, how much somebody loves you, right? Uh, so, I think one of the measures is how much they miss you when you're not around. <laughs> right? So, uh, if, if there is no love, you won't be missing the person so much. So right now, do we miss Krishna? Right? We hardly miss him. Kabhi kisi ne yaad bhi laya to haa, thik hai, aata hu. Then there's distress, maybe to certain extent we can miss. Correct. When, when we are in distress, tabhi yaad aata hai ki haa, chalo, thik hai, koi to hai, powerful, bacha lega. <laughs> Otherwise, we, we don't really miss the Lord so much. Right? So, uh, yes, because you don't have that kind of bond with him, with the Pandavas had. Pandavas, they're missing Krishna so much. So, there's an entire uh, first canto, I think 10th chapter, completely dedicated to, you know, when Krishna is leaving Hastinapur and they're already missing him. <laughs> In anticipation that Krishna is about to go, right? They're already missing him. So, uh, and it's such beautiful emotions are described of different, different people, right? 
so it is said that it's unimaginable you know pain for a devotee to actually be separated from the lord you cannot imagine that pain in right experience to bahut dur ki baat hai ha if we decide to go there <laughs> right so uh, the idea that oh i miss krishna is like very small ha huh, krishna to hai theek hai <laughs> right but here these people have seen krishna they're seeing him face to face so they're missing him very very badly right so uh, we are not able to do that because we don't have that kind of interactions right we don't have that loving bond with the lord yet right and how to develop that loving bond Bhag- bhagavatam describes that how just by hearing about the lord we can actually develop so not just by hearing actually it's uh, if we if we uh, you know interact with krishna through sadhana bhakti so that's our means through sadhana bhakti that includes hearing that includes interacting with krishna through chanting that also in- includes interacting with krishna in his deity form right so we can actually develop that relationship and bond with krishna by you know interacting with krishna in his deity form as well so uh, this is a very very important shloka for us so that we can create that bond loving bond with the lord how by offering him patram pushpam phalam toyam it's also right six six loving exchanges we are feeding the lord <laughs> right bhungte bhujayate right this is part of that so uh, you know and krishna is saying if you offer me i'll accept right not that i won't i'll accept so if you offer with love he is definitely going to accept so let's see if there are some you want to add something to it? i'm just thinking so 9.27 to 6 ah huh. and uh, i think if you go miss the lord at the same time if you certain action you had miss maybe Yeah. devotees devotees <laughs> or kirtan or sometimes chanting or yeah. visiting the temple yes. that's 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 a perfect sign of advancement <laughs> we cannot directly miss the lord but at least the angas of devotion we miss yes so is that like okay um, it is okay but for us yes <laughs> what more i mean after so yeah so right now what experience we have is of all of sadhana bhakti itself so these angas of sadhana bhakti if we miss that means we are advancing are aaj you know devotees ke sath baith ke jap nahi kiya are shit <laughs> so if you miss that or uh, if you miss ki are those uh, you know every day we used to do nice kirtan abhi nahi ho raha so if you are missing that then yes you are advancing that much love you developed to the degree we miss <laughs> to that degree we developed love for the lord somebody who cannot live without are you know darshan nahi kiya raj bhai ka jitna cannot you know uh, do anything else that level is some devotees are there they come stand full day in front of the lord you know add something any reflections <laughs> okay how do we know you will feel satisfied you will feel satisfied correct so when even hearing like we come to that gossip part right so how we should actually associate with uh you know try and associate and hear from pure devotees right and because saath wale kya rahenge <laughs> they'll they'll probably you know say the same stuff or you know gossip or something like that so you should avoid that and uh, try and seek association of skinner vaishnavas as much as possible because when we hear from pure devotees or you know some uh, sincere devotee he may be not absolutely pure now but has a very sincere serious desire to become fully krishna conscious so even such devotee although currently not pure is considered a pure devotee Why? Because he's on path of becoming a pure devotee, like that. So it is recommended to hear from such Vaishnavas also, uh, who are sincere in endeavoring for becoming pure, or whose goal is, you know, serving the Lord only, like that. So if we hear from such devotees, what happens is, it may be the same pastime. Okay, 
कथा चल रहा है महाराज राम कथा है अभी राम कथा हमने सुना था वैष्णव महाराज इज गिविंग और देर इज एनी अदर कथा दैट सीता नवमी इज कमिंग नरसिम्ह चतुर्दशी इज कमिंग सो वी मे हैव हर्ड द पास्ट टाइम ऑफ प्रहलाद नरसिम्हा हंड्रेड टाइम्स टू हंड्रेड टाइम्स राइट और वी मे हैव हर्ड राम कथा सो मेनी टाइम्स और कृष्ण लीला सो मेनी टाइम्स राइट ऑफ योर डिवोटी मे रिपीट द वेरी सेम पास्ट टाइम से फॉर एग्जाम्पल कालिया कालिया दमन लीला राइट I I know Kaliya Daman Lila, so the devotees, बोले मैं क्यों बैठूँ मेरे को पता है, क्या जाके सुनूँ मैं, पता है मेरे को, right? कितनी बार सुना है, so it's not uh, the information uh, that we lack, we we have the information, um, we have seen Krishna serial also, so many other things, we have the information, uh, what is missing is uh, when it is mixed with the love of devotee. who is actually narrating that past time he has love for the lord right and with those feelings and emotions he is narrating that past time with feelings of love so that is something uh, which we get when we hear from such uh, elevated souls okay. so it is said that how uh, you know uh, the gopis of vrindavan you know they uh, when krishna was going in the morning and stealing butter okay, so uh, they were very happy <laughs> They were extremely happy. Oh, Krishna has come. He has stolen stolen butter. But then they would feel sad for Mother Yashoda. That oh, Mother Yashoda is not able to witness such sweet pastimes of the Lord. So come, let us go and in the form of complaint, let's narrate these pastimes to Mother Yashoda. So at least she hears a little bit. <laughs> and just to express, he, boy, okay, you are not able to see. Come, 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 listen. Right. So when Mother Yashoda is hearing these pastimes. she is feeling i am more fortunate than these gopis who actually witnessed the past time of the lord because they have just witnessed but i am getting extra added layer of you know their love mixed with uh, or loving feelings mixed and then they are narrating that past time and i am actually getting to hear that so hearing is extremely extremely uh, wonderful and beneficial if you hear from the right person even uh, i think Parikshit Maharaj, when he heard Sri Mad Bhagavatam, right, and then Mother Uttara in the end, she came like, "Arey, batao, kya suna?" Right, uh, seventh day, you know, uh, just few hours before he was about to leave. So then he narrates Brihad Bhagavatam, which is nothing but his realizations of, uh, you know, he's literally seeing the past times and he's narrating. Want to add something here? to a certain extent that what was happening there yeah that like it was really amazing this is because he was speaking this absolutely absolutely i'll just see if it is sorry hello yes oh okay. yeah नहीं कल भेजो कल 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 भेजे टुमारो सेनेम सेनेम टुमारो 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 आई जस्ट सेंड यू मैसेज सॉरी ओके सो हियर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर श्लोका राइट the bhakti part bhakti uparatam is the most important right uh, we may do things sometimes ritualistically <laughs> ki chalo bana diya bhagwan ke samne do mart rakh diya phata phata aur le liya aur kha liya aur uh, we make things what we like and you know uh, just as a formality we quickly keep in front of krishna and take it so uh, we should actually meditate even while cooking before even we start that oh what should i make today for krishna and then uh, you know plan you know what krishna likes you know what are his favorites 
there should be some savories there should be some sweets there should be something else uh, different kinds something to drink something to lick something to chew something to suck all of those varieties right there are six kinds of varieties like that so uh, plan like that so that you know we satisfy krishna completely <laughs> in all all sorts of ways and uh, you know offer with love so such kind of offering krishna happily accepts his bhavagrahi janardana and accepts the mood in which uh, you offer uh, these items right and then what you get krishna is also doing pratigrana uh, you know uh, sorry bhungte bhojayati he is making you eat also he is accepting food and then he is feeding you also <laughs> by giving mahaprasad like that so uh, yeah Hmm. Meager like offering. <laughs> so he said uh, that uh, he said yeah. <laughs> so basically he was making a point that how you know we can go to when we go to krishna our offering is very meager it's very small <laughs> it's not that we are offering something great or we can offer something great right but krishna is so kind so even with whatever little offering at the end of life maharaj is saying that you know when uh, everything is judged right so how what what kind of chanting you did <laughs> in attentive what kind of service you did or without you know uh, being very very motivated or enthusiastic etc but krishna still accepts uh, right because uh, is coming uh, through the instruction of guru and we are still at least trying a little bit though krishna appreciates he is actually very very grateful very very grateful personality i think there is a famous story uh, you, I, i i must have told also earlier so uh, this devotee he this uh, this brahmana devotee he went to the market to buy the best flowers for the lord he wanted ki aaj main bhagwan ko sabse sundar acche roses ka गार्लैंड ऑफर करता हूँ so, गया मार्केट में एंड यू नो ये फिगर्ड आउट वन ऑफ द शॉप्स बेस्ट रोज इज अवेलेबल देयर सो ही वांटेड टू बाय एंड ही हैड वन रुपी सो यू नो दैट शॉप की परसेंट की रोज कितने का है बोला दो रुपए का सो ही थॉट कि ठीक है कोई नहीं भगवान के लिए चाहिए तो बोला दो रुपए क्या तुम ढाई रुपए लो <laughs> Right. Some of the other, he thought, "Yeah, I'll sell some stuff in my house," and he even paid two and a half rupees and get these very nice flowers. Hare Krishna. Uh, any question? I see one hand raised. No, Prabhu ji. Ab you continue. Actually, I also had one example, so I thought you once finish, I'll just uh, share that. Sure, sure. Okay. So. Uh, he 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 thought ki i'll spend more money also but i'll get these nice flowers for the lord so utne mein wahan pe you know one of the servants of the king came and uh, he also wanted you know uh, usne bhi dekh liye best roses hai pure market mein to wahi pe gaya aur usne bola ki uh, wo brahman ne bola ki theek hai main aata hu i'll sell off some stuff and you know get you that two and a half rupees and buy these so tab tak wo raja ka aadmi aa gaya तो उसने बोला कि अरे ये तो मैंने फ्लावर बेच दिए बोला नहीं 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 राजा के लिए चाहिए कैसे बेच दिए बोला कितने में दिया उसको बोला दो रुपए का है लेकिन वो ढाई रुपए दे रहा है मेरे को बोला मैं तीन रुपए दूंगा सो दिस गाय ओके बोला ओके स्टार्टेड पैकिंग एंड मीन वाइल द ब्राह्मणा केम एंड सेट की अरे लाओ मेरा हो गया दे दो मेरे को फूल बोला नहीं नहीं अभी राजा को जाएगा राजा का सर्वे नहीं देखो यहाँ पे खड़ा है तीन रुपये दे रहा है बोला अच्छा तीन रुपये दे रहा है मैं तो वो चार रुपये दूंगा so uh, that guy also said ki are theek hai aisa hai to bola main 5 rupaye dunga and wa, each, each rupee those days used to be like really big amount so aisa kar kar ke kar kar ke the conversation went where uh, you know the king's guy said i'll give you 11 rupees 
सो जो ब्राह्मण अफेयर किया ये थॉट कह रहे मेरा तो यू नो सारा सेविंग्स भी जाएगा तो मैं ग्यारह रुपये नहीं दे पाऊंगा देन ही थॉट कि ठीक है यू नो दिस दिस गाय सो प्राउड बींग द सर्वेंट ऑफ किंग ही थिंग्स आई एम द सर्वेंट ऑफ द लॉर्ड किंग कौन है इससे ज्यादा महंगा खरीदूंगा तो राधे को कुछ भी पता चल गया तो मेरे को निकाल देगा <laughs> बोला इतना महंगा महंगा लेके आते कौन सा सर्वेंटी निकाला उसको सो ही बैक आउट एंड दिस पर्सन ही एक्चुअली सोल्ड इज हाउस पेड दो रुपीज एंड बॉट दो फ्लावर्स एंड ऑफर टू दिस Uh, so that day uh, in Srinaji, right? Gopal ji ka se gardan gusa se niche jhuka hua tha. So the pujari lagar hai Gopal ji ka gardan kuch jhuk gaya niche. So he is like I am wearing a garland, jiska weight bahut jada hai. <laughs> so the entire uh, you know his house and everything got into that garland. So Krishna is very very grateful. He was grateful and was like, "Sir, you got me." So love is not love if it's not expressed, right? So devotees express it like this. Oh. So don't don't be uh, you know renounce more than your internal renunciation. <laughs> <laughs> अंदर चल रहा है अरे भगवान शायद कुछ और देंगे ना मेरे को मैं इतना स्पेंड कर रहा हूँ मेरे को मिलेगा ना इफ दैट इज दूड डोंट डू इट आई शुड गेट रिटर्न ऑल्सो यू नो मेरे को पता है हाँ चलो ठीक है आई आई पुट इन लैक रुपीज आई एक्सपेक्ट करोर सो दैट्स नॉट द राइट एटीट्यूड इट्स नॉट कि हम ये सोच के करें शायद मिल भी जाए ठीक है बट uh that should not be the attitude that is the attitude don't do it don't that's false renunciation <laughs> yes very for the lord's happiness okay uh we'll go to the next one so you want you all want to add something to this ha uh, prabhu you wanted to add na you had an example uh yeah actually uh, the same you are talking about that krishna loves uh, the devotee so much like i uh, think of one example hmm. when sudama hmm. went to meet uh, krishna and uh, he was stopped that uh, by the door keeper like they were not allowing him to enter hmm. because he was in such a bad condition and as soon as krishna got to know that sudama has come he himself got up from the singhasan and he came outside to meet uh, sudama and he took him inside and then everything was like uh, you know they are uh, chat and then after that they sat together to eat mm. and when sudama saw a plate where there's like it was filled with chappan bhog mm. and uh, where he got a gift for uh, krishna it was like a uh, a stack of a small uh, you know portly of uh, rice that also low quality rice which has stone in it mm. and uh, he was hiding it he said how i can see like you know i'm off- how can i offer this to krishna but when krishna saw sudama is hiding something so he asked what is what are you what are you hiding on your back so uh, then sudama was like not able to say that this is what i have got for you but krishna knew and he actually snatched that from sudama and he had it like mm. he ate the you know the uncooked rice with the stone and that was like a kind of uh, the the devotion like you can see the how krishna accepts their devotees like yeah. when even they can eat a rice which has stones in it but it is offered like not even offered it was like he was feeling shy he was he was feeling so embarrassed to give it to krishna but he still had it yeah so, so that is what i was yeah. so in fact uh, today is the day akshay tritya day where sudam actually met krishna in dwarka we'll talk about akshay tritya also a little bit i saw some very nice video which had some 12 13 items <laughs> of what happened today <laughs> so i can share that or maybe if you've already seen then i won't so uh, in this particular past time of sudama and krishna so krishna is thinking that uh, you know sudama has gone beyond his capacity actually they never had even that little rice to eat 
वो भी उसको उधार मांग के लाए थे राइट बाजू में बाजू में से किसी से यू नो दे बैक देन दे कलेक्टेड समथिंग एंड देन ही वाज एबल टू कैरी दिस पर्टिकुलर गिफ्ट सो देन कृष्ण इज थिंकिंग दैट ओ सुदामा हैज गॉन आउट ऑफ हिज कैपेसिटी टू यू नो गिफ्ट मी समथिंग so i cannot repay him i cannot go out of my capacity <laughs> right because krishna's capacity unlimited uske bhi aur bahar ja kar ke kya karenge like that so it's like i am unable to repay him so uh, let him be satisfied with his own devotion and of course he arranged a very beautiful palace etc etc so that's that was not really uh, in exchange of his devotion because uh, as per krishna he cannot repay so that so uh, yeah today was a day where uh, he met sudama in dwarka akshay tritya we'll do one more verse and then uh, 27 right ha huh. yat karoshi yad ashnashi yad juhoshi dadashi yat ट्रांसलेशन समन वॉन्ट टू रीड Yes, true. Whatever, whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, and whatever activity you perform, do that with understanding as an offering to you. Yes, exchanges. So whatever you do, Krishna is in fact asking, demanding, <laughs> right? Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, whatever austerities you perform, do that, O son of Kunti, as an offering to me. Why is Krishna, you know, demanding like this? हम करते क्या हैं अरे प्रोजी जो भी आप मेरे को पहले देना खुद मत खा जाना सब right who can say this yes so either it can appear as to be very arrogant and very <laughs> but uh, when you look at uh, you know some very very uh, intimate relations right like uh, i was once hearing uh, you know there was this uh, class where uh, you know i think janmashmi prabhu was taking he was mentioning that uh, the vrajvasis they are uh, writing a letter to krishna and they're saying ki uh, you know don't forget i did this for you right not in, not in a way ki ha yaad dilane ke liye but they are basically lovingly reminding krishna ki please come back hey krishna okay come yeah they are lovingly reminding krishna please come back right and they are trying to remind him uh you know different exchanges loving exchanges they had so i was confused that like re, you know pure devotee to aisa kabhi jatayenge nahi ki are maine ye kiya dekho aapke liye <laughs> right that's not really part of your devotion why would you know i was thinking in with my little brain kare as a guess how a devotee can uh, you know remind krishna look i did this for you right kyu karenge aisa but then janmashmi prabhu he gave the answer that uh, actually when the relationships are extremely intimate right like very easily you can imagine any gop sakha you know saying krishna oh krishna remember i you know did this this is for you so basically he is reminding krishna of you know how nice exchanges we had and basis that why don't you please return not that is like yare mera aisa na tum pe waisa nahi but it's more like you please return return back so therefore krishna is demanding here whatever you do whatever you eat whatever you offer or give away whatever austerities you perform do that o oh, son of kunti as an offering to me right like a loving father is showing us the right path how can we you know kind of come back to krishna as soon as possible so he's showing us the right path also and we have that i mean he has that intimate relationship with us to tell us very easily like this of course he's in that commanding position also so thus 
it is a duty of everyone to mold his life in such a way that he will not forget Krishna in any circumstance. Everyone has to work to for maintenance of his body and soul together. And Krishna recommends here in that one should work for him. Everyone has to eat something to live. Therefore, he should accept the remnants of foodstuff offered to Krishna. Any civilized man has to perform some religious ritualistic ceremonies. Therefore, Krishna recommends, do it for me. And this is called Archana. Everyone has a tendency to give something in charity. Krishna says, give it to me. And this means that all surplus money accumulated should be utilized in furthering the Krishna consciousness movement. Nowadays, people are very much inclined to meditational process, which is not practical in this age. But if anyone practices meditating on Krishna 24 hours a day by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, uh, Hare Krishna Mantra rounds his, uh, his bead, is surely the greatest meditator and greatest yogi as substantiated by the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So, very simple, straightforward message, <laughs> right? You want to do charity, you want to do uh, meditation, uh, you want to do ritualistic performances, you want to have food, everything, you can actually uh, connect to Krishna very easily by offering it uh, to him or doing it for him and then, uh, you know, getting the remnants. So we want to add something. This is asking, uh, but in this association, well, because we are fixed, we are supposed to discuss the Buddha. So in discussing and we develop some faith love for us. Yes. So like that also if we are because we are a sadhana of the Buddha, if we have some fixed regulated times also with devotees. Uh, then it can help us like chanting your faith principles to chant in English. Yeah, if we cultivate the habit of, uh, you know, when we meet some devotee, we may normally ask, Hare Krishna, how are you? Right? <laughs> Normal stuff. Of course, do that. Not that we don't do that. But then if we uh, share something that we heard that day, right? So the entire conversation will you know, be something different versus, you know, then getting into regular, you know, gossip. <laughs> oh, he, she, he was wearing that color. She was wearing this thing. You know. <laughs> so instead of all that kind of talk or, uh, you know, uh, folk, I, yeah, we, we do meditate on the Lord in the form of Prasadam so much. So <laughs> we definitely talk about Prasadam a lot. But uh, yeah, we should also talk about his pastimes, his name, form, qualities. Appreciate Krishna in all features, not just the self. Yes. And also, like, like uh, sometimes it may happen that the other person is not in the consciousness to share something. Mm. So we, maybe like uh, our teachers used to regulate us to sit together and read for some time. So even if some one other person is not so much in good consciousness. Then because of the uh, influence of other devotees, they read together, get into this association with them. So we all get uplifted to that position. So I just uh, I was appreciating that how devotee association, if we are regulated to do it. Yes. Sadhana yes. Bhakti means we have to regulate ourselves. And to a point where starting with us, <laughs> but then, but then, like we were discussing. Uh, you know, we are not in a position to miss Krishna and, and that's like the measure of love. How much we miss Krishna. So at least we can miss the process of loving Krishna. So how much we miss chanting, how much we miss reading, how much we miss Kirtan, how much we miss devotee association, uh, hearing. So if we, if we miss that, that means we are progressing. Thank you for the points. <laughs> yes. uh, we are already missing Prasadam. Krishna book reading of Srila Prabhupada. Yes. So, uh, there's this devotee of the Lord, uh, 
Mukundadat, I think. Yeah, he's a physician in Chaitanya Leela. So he goes to the king and uh, time to <laughs> uh, he goes to the king uh, because the king is unwell. So he has called uh, you know physician Mukunda to treat him. So when he comes, he sees uh, that someone is fanning the king with peacock feather. So just by looking at peacock feather, he faints. Because immediately he is reminded of Krishna and in that ecstasy and of love, he faints. <laughs> so, devotees, they are missing Krishna so much. Even slightest, you know, uh, like Radharani when she's angry with Krishna. So, she doesn't want to see Krishna at all. And anything black reminds her of Krishna. So, uh, you know, she'll... Unka bal, who will black hair? Reminds her of Krishna. Tamal tree reminds her of Krishna. Her own eyelashes are black. Reminds her of Krishna. Right? Uh, so many things. The dark sky, uh, night sky reminds her of Krishna. So she says to her maid servants, Ki, jau, you know, sare tamal tree ko white paint karto ja kar <laughs> Cover my hair completely with, you know, uh, uh, you know, all the cloth and everything. And, you know, uh, I won't come out in the night sky, I won't see out of the window, etc. Et so many instructions she gives to, you know, all her sakis, uh, because she doesn't want to get reminded of Krishna and, you know, anything, little also here and there, she is immediately, instantly reminded of Krishna. So, uh, so the sakis, they then plan, so that, you know, so, yeah, so that's the level of, uh, you know, devotees. They are unable to forget Krishna, right? Every smallest thing kind of uh, reminds and they miss the Lord so much. Our position is like reverse. <laughs> reverse, completely reverse. We have to remember that God is here, let's see you in front Anyways, I think we'll stop here. Hare Krishna. Any, any questions, any reflections, anything? Hare Krishna, yes, Prabhu, you have your hand raised. Yeah, Prabhuji, I just wanted to know, like you were talking about today's Akshay Tritya and uh, there is oh, something yes. linked with Sodama. So I was like, I was like, I'm not aware of that. Correct, correct. So Akshay Tritya, so many things happened. Uh, I think uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj was given the Akshay Patra by Sun God on this day and then he passed that to Draupadi. Uh, I think uh, Jagannath Rathyatra uh, they start making the chariot today. Uh, then uh, what has happened? Then Annapurna Devi appeared on uh, today's day. In fact, uh, it is said that every yuga starts from the day of Akshay Tritya. And uh, there are many other things, right? What Haridwar? Ha, all the all the uh, places like Haridwar, uh, you know, and uh, what's that? Chardham, all the Chardham ke sare part aaj khulte <laughs> right? So you can start your yatra and uh, you know take darshan. Bake Bihari Charan, oh you have a list. <laughs> Go on, you can read out. Bake Bihari Charan darshan. It's a very auspicious. Chandan yatra, yeah, yeah, Chandan yatra starts today. Madhavendra Puri. Ha, Parshuram appeared on uh, this day as well. And everyone online, please come to temple, right? It is a very extremely auspicious day. Whatever you do on this day becomes Akshay, doesn't get reduced. So if you visit temple, take darshan, you will be blessed to take darshan more and more. <laughs> and there is a special darshan today. Uh, the Lord will be completely covered with Chandan. Uh, so uh, Vyasdev also started writing Mahabharata today. The Lord will be completely covered with Chandan. You can have that special darshan and he'll be dressed in a flower dress. So please come and take darshan. What are the chances we are getting... <laughs> Like it will be like a uh, lot of people, it'll be very crowded today. Yeah, yeah, it'll be crowded because people know the value of coming and taking darshan today. So, you can also, yeah, take that opportunity, <laughs> right? And just because of crowd, don't miss it. Yeah, certainly. Yes, okay, we'll stop here. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna.